Um, you know, the cool thing about these guys is they all love each other and they have each other's backs and they're truthful with each other. You know, at the center is this guy who's really famous and there's a certain way I think people can surround themselves with yes men a lot of times and they never have the truth and they, you know, it's a strange life. And with these guys, they, they go off on each other and it's really brutal, but they're very truthful. And there's something endearing about that. You're right, I mean, it really is a show, with the exception of your character, about the honest exchange of information. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the show from the get-go was, was really supposed to be closer to Diner or Swingers than the player. You know, it really, um, while the Hollywood is the backdrop, I mean, um, it wasn't supposed to be a Hollywood show. It really was supposed to hopefully be a young guy show. Um, so it's, it's kind of a, obviously a combination, but... But there's a trap there, I mean, you know. What do you mean? Well, at the beginning, if it's just about guys who are trying to get laid because their best friend's famous, then that's not that interesting. You know, where, where, where does it go? I mean, everyone is, you know, has their own kind of tragic flaws and whatnot and what's going on with that. And so I think everyone took a, a leap of faith. You know, I mean, if you were to, you know, tell me that, you know, after we read it the very first time, you know, that we'd be sitting up here and you guys would, would be, you know, would be wanting to hear what we have to say. I mean, I, I don't, <laughs> it just seems, it all is very surreal. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Pontificating entourage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, I mean, it's true. I mean, just for, you know, you know, as actors, you know, the, you, there's pilots, you know, and it's like, it, it's one episode, you do one show, and mm -hmm. I, I think we could all say that never in, in our wildest imaginations would, would, could I have ever guessed that, that this could happen. I mean, it's like I've done, you know, 10 pilots in my life, and, you know, you think, oh, wow, this is a great pilot, this is going to go here, this is going to do there, and, and they go on a shelf, and then you go, okay, well, this is interesting, it's an HBO pilot, and take a shot in the dark, and, yeah. and it changed, you know, our, our lives overnight. It's just, it's crazy, it's bizarre. But there are a couple of variables. I mean, the, the, this is all really fertile stuff. And HBO, as everyone knows, gives the show a chance to breathe and, and find its voice. And, and the networks don't do that. They're all operating from fear, and people will lose their jobs if they don't get you know, certain ratings. And this show on network you know, uh, TV, uh, we don't know what would have happened to this. And because it was allowed, you know, we were I think allowed. We do know. <laughs> 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 Working the curly fry machine in the valley, probably. Yeah, love it. <laughs>